Welcome back. It's Knack bringing you some more fantastic one vs one matchups. We do have SHS, or I'm sorry, SH Spirit spawning as Protoss, his home race, or whatever you call it, his most played race, standard race, and CVE spawning as his Zerg. They're going to be playing on MLG's test bug. Quite a fun three player map. It's got some very interesting. Uh, I think some very interesting spots in the map that really make it unique I like these high ground expansions and things like that so it's really kind of fun map and uh, we'll see how these guys are going to play it out now a SH Spirit is a master level player so while he is going into this game as a favorite we cannot put CVE out of this game out of this matchup quite yet CVE is a is a platinum player and very good I might add he um, has been playing in the tournament and you can tell this guy loves to play and he tries very 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 hard and works very very hard for for the wins that he gets so it should be tons of fun to see um, we do have SH Spirit spawning at the 7 o'clock position as the purple Protoss and CVE spawning as the red Zerg at the 11 o'clock position now well, let's take a look at this map real quick. This there is four Zelmaga watchtowers in the center of the map, but only one of them you can take right away, and it's the center one. And then there's this, this kind of triangle around it, and you can see that they're in the center here of these destructible rocks. So to be able to take those, they have to take all those rocks out. They only have 1,500 health, so they're not too hard to get rid of. But you do have to do a little bit of work to get that done. We do have a scout going out for CVE right away, <coughs> and one for SH Spirit, and they gave each other a big high five as they crossed paths on their way to each other's base, as if these guys were stream cheating or something, <laughs> which they're not. These guys you can trust. These are the kind of guys you can uh, you can take what they say to the bank. If they say they're not cheating, they're not cheating. So, and that's not the play we've come to expect from either of these players. Um, we do have kind of, uh, oh no, that's not kind of strange. I thought that was the ramp for a second. I wasn't paying attention, but that's the ramp right there. So he is going to be walling off his ramp with his gateway and more than likely his cybernetic score. We'll see if that is the build order that he chooses to go here very shortly. A CVE moving around the map being relatively active, but this probe is here in position to block any sort of expansion right away, which it looks like he is going to be effective at doing and getting out of position and he does get the hatchery down very good timing so well done there by CVE and SH Spirit unable to prevent that so now he's just going to be using this probe for some scouting information here for just a little bit and we'll see what else he'll be able to pull off with that there is the spawning pool going down right away so he is scouting that but we do have a fast expand followed by a spawning pool for CVE and SH Spirit is going to get that cybernetic score down barely. Looks like he got just a little bit behind on that because of CVE's movement there with that drone getting in the way just a little bit. So a little bit of back and forth between these two players trying to hold each other up as best they can. And you can see that CVE, I mean, while he is still in Platinum League, you can tell that he really has, has got a lot of the good you know, uh, strategies and uh, different little tricks of the trade that the that the masters and grandmasters use, you know, to make to make them to give themselves a lot better advantage. So let's see, SH SH Spirit will be getting out his warp gate technology right away, and he's also chrono boosting out a stalker. Looks like he has got that rallied up to his opponent's base to follow this zealot. And he is going to be moving out here fairly shortly, it looks like, to try and put on a little bit of harassment. We'll see how that's going to pay off for him. We do have this Overlord going out. It looks like it's going to come around the back, maybe, or just it may even stop here to make sure that his opponent is not taking an expansion there. Which is not an uncommon place for a Protoss to try and hide an expansion in this matchup, uh, considering their spawn location. So, But we don't have any... Uh, um, expansions in the way or in the uh, in the works yet for SH Spirit. Goodness, sorry, stumbling over my own words. So right now it looks like he's going to be sticking to this uh, warp gate, and you know early. Oh, here comes the attack right now. It looks like he got a little bit of damage done. Let's take a look at the uh, units 
loss tab and see if anybody lost anything. We're only down 50 each, so probably um, on the drones that they may have lost so far. And this cell is going to recharge his shields. He is taking an expansion now, and it and let's see, it doesn't have eight. Yeah, it does have eight. Okay, so it's a full-size expansion. I think there's some that are half on this map. Maybe not on MLG Test Bug. Yeah, it looks like they're all full-size expansions, except for the gold. Obviously, they don't ever have eight mineral patches. It has six mineral patches, but you have to break down these destructible rocks to take it first. So you can see that on all of them. There's destructible rocks in the way, so you can't really take it. Um, take that expansion very easily without getting or without taking your army over there to get to remove these rocks so lots of destructible debris on this map and there is this expansion up on the high ground which can be a lot of fun to take um, but it can be difficult to defend because it has a ramp on two sides on the north and south and the same for all of these you can see that it's got a ramp going in and a ramp going out, so your opponent can move up there. But it is on the high ground, which does make it a little bit easier to defend. And usually the outbound ramp, the one towards your opponent, is a little bit smaller. This one seems a little bigger than that one. Take a look at that. See how wide that is compared to this one? I think that is a little bit wider. I think it's probably that that much wider than this one. So Anyway, we do have uh, one queen each at each base so far. And he has one queen that is looks like it's going to be dedicated to spreading creep. We'll see if that is the case. Going to be moving those uh, creep tumors around the map towards his opponent. Very, very good play. And standard from a third player. Got to get that creep highway going. But we do have a roach one already. And it looks like he's going to be taking his second gas right now. And we'll see if he goes for his third and fourth here fairly shortly or not. If he's not, he'll probably be sticking with probably some... Um, Roach Ling play. If he does take it, then he, he'll probably be taking up soon. So that's what we will know from that. And now we, it's up to his opponent, SH Spirit, to scout that and figure it out for himself. <laughs> so let's see, we've got four, five, looks like five gateways right now, and we do have a Twilight Council going down, so I'll be interested to see if he's just going to go straight for Blink or if he's going to use that to tech up, you know, to his either. Dark Templar or High Templar, which can always be fun, especially when you can, you know, turn those into the recently buffed um, Archons, which have an increase in range now. It used to be two range, and now they have three range, which makes them a lot more effective. They can get into those battles a little bit better without taking quite as much damage, you know, not having to get in quite as close to their opponents do damage. We do have four extractors now for our Zerg player, and four assimilators for the Protoss player. We are still even on bases, so CDE, um, he's going to want to try and probably stay a little bit ahead of his opponent, but he is making safe plays here, I would say. He's trying to keep a decent army and decent defenses, you know, so that he'll be prepared for when his, his opponent is going to move out, but he has not scouted his opponent in just a little while. So... We'll see how that's going to work for him. Let's take a look at SH Spirit and what he has seen. He does have this hallucinated phoenix cruising around the map. He has not scouted his opponent's base yet, though. So neither opponent really doing much in the way of scouting. I'm here in the shadows. 